Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at it with another Buccaneers video on Buccaneers Daily. We're going to be talking about Mike Evans specifically. I have no clue what is going on. I mean, in general, the last three weeks have been pretty bad for Mike Evans and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, you know, we know the Buccaneers offense isn't the Buccaneers offense of the past, but this last week specifically, Mike Evans was targeted nine times, came away with two receptions and just 31 yards. We'll talk about that in just a second. But the weeks leading up to it, five receptions, 54 yards, five receptions, 40 yards. It's not what you need from your number one receiver. And to be honest with you, one of the best receivers, one of the most consistent receivers in the entire National Football League. The reason I'm not panicking is as a whole, Mike Evans, like currently he's on pace for a better season than he did last year where he had 74 receptions, over 1,000 yards receiving, 14 touchdowns, and a Pro Bowl. I guess he's not anywhere near 14 touchdowns. He only has three, but he still has 51 catches, 702 yards. He's still throwing up over 70 yards per game, but the last three weeks have been absolutely abysmal. I mean, the communication, just the timing with Tom Brady is horrible. You know, Mike and Tom look completely off. I guess the offense, like I said, looks off in general. But for a, most of the game, Mike Evans w was not even targeted. And they messed up in overtime where you really need a play to be made. I don't really know what is going on. There is clearly some type of lack of, I don't know, it's a mix of communication, just getting the job done. He's in a funk, and I don't know why, but all I know is I don't think it will last for much longer, and getting Mike Evans and Tom Brady back on track, getting that connection back on track, is a it's going to be a huge, huge deal. The Buccaneers currently sit below 500, and it is absolutely, completely desperate. Thankfully, Julio Jones looks fully healthy, looks fast, he looks powerful, he looks strong, him and Tom, they've been making plays. Nothing crazy in the stat sheet. You know, Julio's definitely getting up there in age. But, you know, I need Pro Bowl Mike Evans back. And it's not all on Tom. There are, specifically in this last game, like I said, that play in overtime, Mike Evans, you got to catch the football. All right? You got to catch a football. So, it's on top, Bulls. It's on this Buccaneers offense to figure out a way. If there's a will, there's a way. I know the Buck season thus far has not gone as planned. I'm absolutely shocked. It's crazy thinking, you know, there were people, myself included, thinking, yeah, I wouldn't even be surprised if Tampa Bay lost three or four games this season, and here they are below 500. Thank, you know, shout out NFC South, though. Hit that like button, hit that sub button if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want daily Buccaneers content. I'll see you guys later.